Hello everybody, um, as I said in the previous video, I want to clean out the gears and stuff, but uh, since the last time I sprayed and changed the motor on it, um, I picked up a small problem uh, in the pump housing, and I found the problem, but in doing so, I saw that this pump had a lot of wear on it, and I decided I'm going to replace it, and I thought I'd share the experience. It's a very simple process, and all that you need is a Phillips head screwdriver, a five millimeter uh, hex uh, wrench and a shifting spanner um, adjustable spanner and yeah so first things first we're just going to take off the hose once the hose is disconnected we can put that out of the way now from the pressure regulator valve there's a cable running to a pc board and that is connected to the pump so if we take off the front and this comes with it, it will yank on that and we don't want that. So we're going to open the covers. Okay, so once we've opened this cover, we can unplug that, that pump uh, uh, wire the pump controller valve wire and now we can continue to the front this cover Okay, so there's one of the bearings that holds the axle for the actual pump. Then there's two small plastic washers holding the pump in place. And two pins that's holding it to the body. Once you remove those two pins, you can slide everything out and there's that little cable that you can just pull through the, the, um, the opening that it's got there. And there you've got the whole pump assembly with the drive gear, the piston, um, and the whole pump set. Okay, so now I'm just going to take all this apart. Pull this straight out. There's the shaft. And... Now we've got this part in our hand, which is basically the main pump. From here, we can undo the bottom one-way valve that looks like that. Um, then we can open this section here that goes to the pump. This that feeds the, the, the pipe that goes to the gun. It looks like that you can see that seal is a bit old there and worn we're going to replace that um, then we can replace that There's the directional valve. That seal is also a bit worse, worse for one. And in here is your packings and everything. This nut is quite difficult to get out, so I'm not even going to try that on camera. And then last but not least, the controller valve. This one got damaged. Um, by a little error that I made and to save you from doing it in there is what looks like a little ball but it's not it's a little diaphragm and I was uh, fiddling in there with something sharp to try and get some of the gunk out of there 
and I actually damaged it, but I've got a brand new one that we're going to put in. So without further ado, I'm going to, um, oh, and then there's one more part here that you need to take a split pin out there, and then we can take this out and we'll do that quickly as well. Okay, so I've got the brand new uh, pump housing, and here's the brand new pump. Um, so we're going to start assembling it again um, so that you guys can see exactly how it goes. You buy this as a, as a whole kit. It's got a seal at the bottom. Then it's got another seal that goes around that. And there's all your packing uh, that keeps the paint and everything going in one direction and not peeling out everywhere. So we're going to start with that. We're going to take out um, all the parts separately and put them in the spots. So that goes in there. Make sure to line it up properly and not pinch the, the seal. Okay, once that is in there nicely, then the second part goes in. Make sure it goes in the right spot. Then the little washer that I just dropped goes on top of that. And then your packing and your pump nut goes on there. So once this is all just finger tight, we can make sure everything lines up and that the shaft actually fits through it. I would leave this in here when we tighten it, just to be double sure. Okay, so nice and snug and it can still move. Okay, so we're gonna put this in later because we need to attach it to uh, this bearing over here. Um, okay, so what we can do now, we're going to replace that, which is that uh, selector valve uh, with that little O-ring going pushing against that side. Nice and snug. Then we're going to insert that locator pin into that little hole there. Okay, and a pair of pliers would be nice for this, which we've got handy here. Okay, once that locator pin is in there, we can insert this bit over there. Uh, now you need something just to turn this in the right direction. So. So it's right there, so that the pin can go through. So that's there, and you can make sure it's lined up. And now you can put that pin back in there, and it just takes a little bit of a tap, and there it goes, and there's your pump and spray all sorted. Okay, so now we're going to move on to the center part. The center part consists of this valve here. I've replaced that O-ring over there. It's got a little steel ball that goes into the bottom. Then there is a, a, a metal flange. On the one side, it's chamfered, and the one side is flat. The chamfered side goes towards the ball, so it doesn't hurt the ball. But before you put that in, there's a little plastic cover that goes on onto that, that retains it in that valve there. So. Once you've got that in the right spot, it just sits 
nice and flush over there and that's a one-way valve this controls the flow to the um, uh, to the prime side or to the spray side okay so we're gonna put that into place Okay, once that's up, snug, snugged in there, um, normally there's a little uh, strainer in there that goes to the paint gun, but uh, in my previous videos I showed that I don't use it, so we can just attach that now. That just goes in with a little bit of a persuasion. The new seal makes it go in a little bit harder. just a bit of a pain to get in maybe it's just a little bit dry there's the o-ring that just sits there you can just give it a little bit of lubrication so it doesn't get that sticky to go down the past all the threads and everything Okay, once that's snug, now we're going to install the new uh, uh, pressure valve controller. And there's virtually the pump kit. Now we just need to, uh, the pickup side. Okay, so the pickup side consists of this brass insert. I've already replaced that o-ring there as well. And there's a seat in there. And this is the one-way valve that it comes with. And it works on the same principle. There's a little metal ball there in a plastic housing. There's a chamfered side and a flat side. The chamfered side goes towards the ball. It clips into that. And that's the one-way valve and it goes with that seal down in there so you can see the cross on top so that's the way that goes in and once you've got that ready there 
it goes into the bottom. And then we tighten that up. Okay, so now everything on the pump is, is back uh, to its normal places and operating. So now the pump needs to go back into the machine. But before we go there, um, I think we need to assemble uh, the ring and the piston and the gear and get all of that nice and um, greased up so there's no lubrication issues. Um, the, the, the piston goes in here and it basically just lines up over there. And you've got this little pin that's got a shoulder that you just push through like such and then there's just a little circlip that goes on top again you're going to need the little pliers and it looks like that okay so now uh, the the piston is on on that um, connector rod you can call that uh, we're going to give it some ample amount of decent quality grease everywhere and pack it nicely in because we've cleaned all the old grease out so it doesn't run dry so it's nice and lubricated so that's ready to go and this is the drive gear uh, the drive gear has got two um, little um, metal bushings so we're just going to put on the axle put some grease there and on the back side there's another axle over there okay there's a thin one and a thick one the thick one goes onto the side where the white the counterweight is just sits there like such and the thin one goes onto this side okay so then this is where the rod's going to be so we can the the connector rod goes on here to the pump we'll give that a good amount of grease as well and then on onto the drive gear There we go right so we can put the drive gear back into the motor housing right so these two pins they hold the pump they've got two pins that you can locate right there they sit right there um, and basically now we can put the pump in um, this little wire needs to go underneath otherwise it's going to get in the way of the piston and close to the gear so we'll just make sure it goes into the little hole there where we can pull it out the back and then it needs to go underneath and then they this pump goes onto those two little rods and then you've got to make sure it runs underneath otherwise it can catch Okay, um, and then we need to add the piston and the connector. And just pull this bit forward. 
this takes a bit of jiggling to to get everything together to go together smoothly there we go Okay, so it's very important that this whole pump housing slides all the way back and hit the aluminium bits at the back. So this little cable is running in a place where I don't like it. So I'm just going to bring it to the front rather and put it back around there where there's a bit of a safe, safer spot for it to run around. Um, okay, so that assembly is almost done. We've just got these two little spaces that goes onto the front of those two pistons there. And that's the lot. Now we need to attach the um, cable. Um, I actually think there's a slot there which I think would be a safer place to um, put the, the cable through to make sure it doesn't get in contact with the piston or the gear which could damage it so it could go up there and through there and keep it a bit safer but for now i'm happy with that that's out of the way it's not going to get in the way of the machine and then we can put the pump cover back on goes in like that the four bolts it goes to the front. There we go so that's all done now we just need to plug this little cable back into its spot there's the pump controller uh, um, plugged in and then we can just slide the cover back into its place Done there.
Okay. And then last but not least, we can connect our hose back on again. And that's it. So we've replaced that and all the parts that we replaced in uh, on this um, for today, which was a new pump controller valve, a new pump, a new pump body, um, and the rest we just added on, um, and a few uh, O-rings that we replaced on that. And that was less than 2,000 Rand. Um, so I really don't think that's bad. And um, I don't think all of it was necessary. I just decided while I had it open to replace it anyway, um, make sure the pump is maintained and good to go for another. I've had this for nine years now and it's done thousands of squares and I think it's good to go for another 9,000 squares. So um, I just decided to replace what I could and I did. And um, yeah, so this is good to go again. Thank you for joining and Remember to hit the subscribe. Thanks.